What's up you guys you're watching Rob Mob TV and I am seven weeks pregnant now um, I finally scheduled my doctor's appointment I go next week on June 3rd um, so I'm just coming to you guys with a quick update of what all happened in week six I did make some notes this time that way I'm not like completely rambling and off the grid um, so starting with me I first of all addressed the elephant in the room okay this big pimple on my nose can y'all see that right there yeah, not cute. Um, that's new. For some reason, my face was like really, really clear and it still is for the most part. I have like a few little bumps on that side, but this pimple came up out of nowhere, like out of nowhere. Um, my face has been extremely oily. I, most of my symptoms are the same as last week. Um, my face has been extremely oily. You can see that a little bit here, but my neck skin has been so dry like I already have like hyperpigmentation you can see that my neck is darker than like my chest and my face but like y'all do y'all see like the texture it's kind of hard to see on the video but the texture of the skin on my neck it's like almost kind of looks like the dry skin that that you see with like eczema so the neck is dry the face is oily i don't i don't know what's going on i feel like i need a whole set of products for my face and then a whole different set for like my neck and chest which is weird but my last pregnancy with luna and um my chest broke out really bad and my back broke out really bad so i'm really hoping that i don't have those issues this time but the way things are going it looks like it might be the same um what else not Na nausea I have been so nauseous lately. I think I said that last week too. It hasn't changed, hasn't let up. I did get peppermint tea and ginger tea and I got some ginger ale too. I haven't tried the ginger tea, um, but the ginger ale, like the soda and the, um, the peppermint tea works wonders. If you're pregnant and you're dealing with the morning sickness, get some organic peppermint tea from your local grocery store. Um, I let the tea bag sit in the water for like five to seven minutes and then I add like some honey or whatever so it's not so it's like a little sweet and then I drink that and it has been helping so I drink like one or two cups a day and or whenever I feel like real nauseous and that's been helping um one of the girls at school told me about um the peppermint stuff and she gives me peppermints um too like throughout the day at school to help me out um lately i have been extremely tired and i don't i'm pretty sure is due to like the pregnancy that i'm more tired than normal my schedule is completely hectic so monday tuesday i'm in school all day from 9 a.m to 8 p.m and then wednesday through sunday i am at work from 8 to 4 30 and then i have to do like my whole parenting mom mode stuff you know after work so i don't get any days off like it is very rare that I get a day off so I was already tired before I was pregnant but now it's just like getting through work I'm at work right now I'm just on a break so I'm trying to hurry up and get this done before I have to go back um I'm tired like I'll catch myself like midday like dozing off same thing in school like I'm just sitting there and I'm like I, I'm exhausted so I uh, just feel like I can't get enough sleep um i have noticed something that's different this week that i don't think i had last week is cramping like it almost feels like i'm gonna start my cycle so then i like go to the bathroom and i wipe and there's nothing there everything is fine so i did read on the little baby center app that cramping is normal it is from like your uterus stretching and just getting your body ready to have a freaking baby so i'm not too concerned about it again this ain't my first time at the ro rodeo this is baby number three um and i had that same type of cramping with the first two throughout my entire first trimester so it can be a little confusing because i'm like wait a minute am i about to start bleeding am i about to have miscarriage like what is going on thank god i have never like had a miscarriage before knock on wood pray that pray that doesn't happen but i always get scared when i have that cramping but it's normal in the first trimester and everything's okay 
So those are pretty much all of my symptoms that I had in week six. We are now in week seven. So we'll think we'll see how things go this week. So baby, I don't think I did this last week, but the baby as of right now, according to my little app, the baby is the size of a grain of rice, which if you really think about it, it's like a teeny, teeny, teeny little thing. And like the fact that something so small is causing me big drama is, that's beyond me. Like, that's crazy. Um, the app also said that the major organs are nearing development. So I need to watch what I eat. Like, I think it said unpasteurized cheese and uncooked like meats and fish. I don't eat uncooked meats and fish, but I'll be tearing up some cheese. I don't know if it's unpasteurized or not, but I literally just ate some cheese maybe like an hour ago. I should probably watch that <laughs> just to be on the safe side. What's the difference between unpasteurized and pasteurized? I feel like I should know that, but it's not something that I know. So if you know, put it in the comments below. Tell me what cheese I can and cannot eat, okay? Because right now I like it. I don't feel like that's a craving thing. I just I just like cheese. Um, and then the app also said that the baby is starting to look more like a human. That little tail thing that they have um, at the very beginning that is fading away, I guess, and it looks more like a little like a little baby. So even though it's like super super small. So that's really the only updates that I have. I will show you guys um, my stomach. There's no changes i'm not showing homegirl just back okay but i'll show y'all i got on this cute little two-piece if you want to know where i got it from i got it from ross super cute okay you got it pulled up kind of high i was sitting in the chair and it rose up but yes i have this on today this is from the front again this little fupa action right here that ain't nothing new i've always had that okay um so from the side from the front, look at these rows, y'all. See, I was on a journey to lose some weight before I got pregnant, but here is the other side. So, no baby bump yet, just, you know, my regular old muffin top that, that I've been trying to lose for forever. Me and the girls at school, we are gonna start working out tomorrow now they say if you weren't working out before your pregnancy you can work out but don't get crazy okay so that's what i'm gonna be doing i'm gonna start working out i at least want to tone up my arms my legs my butt um while i'm pregnant i don't think doing a little bit of exercise is gonna hurt anything i'll be fine but i am gonna start doing that because y'all look at these arms like my arms are so they're getting so big and this pregnancy I want to keep it kind of chill with Luna. My second pregnancy, I gained 25 pounds. If I can stay between like that 15, 20 pound range with this baby, that would be perfect. Um, so I do want to try to eat healthier and um, also work out like the parts of my body that I can work out while I'm still pregnant. So we're supposed to start that tomorrow. And yeah, I'll let y'all know how it goes and I'll update you guys when I hit um, eight weeks next week. So thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you in the next video.